The best moment in E3 history for me was honestly talking about something I wasn't gonna get and just had no intention of getting. I wasn't excited for nothing to do with it excited me except for Kevin Butler's speech about PlayStation Move. Um, I don't. If you remember Kevin Butler, he was nothing but a gem. I I give him almost sole credit for the PlayStation 3 doing well because it seems like before he showed up it was kind of floundering like the sales were just awful Sony was losing a ton of money because they did a very bad job until they started pumping out some games but overall Kevin Butler was great and hilarious and amazing and a fantastic marketing boy on Sony's part but his speech about gaming in general and his little digs at Nintendo were pretty awesome too with to do with the PlayStation move about how you know we should all unite casual gamers hardcore gamers every kind of gamer should unite under one banner essentially not necessarily under one console but I don't know it was a very unifying and amazing and funny speech and to top it all off when he was going toward the crescendo of his speech he had a picture of him with like the PlayStation Move graphics all over the place holding a bow and arrow. <laughs> it just exemplified like probably my favorite marketing strategy uh, any video game company's ever done was just this ridiculous character. And I don't know, Kevin Butler was just fantastic and I think either Nintendo or Microsoft should have scooped him up when uh, Sony let the actor go. Yeah, they have to name him something different, of course, but uh, Kevin Butler was amazing, and his speech at uh, whatever E3 press conference it was, I forget the year, was definitely, like, my favorite E3 moment in recent memory. Because every gamer is a true gamer. Motion gamers. Sitting gamers. Everyone, and though we may pledge fanboy allegiances to different flags, deep down inside we all serve one master, one king, and his name is Gaming. Forever may he reign! Over the years, we have had a lot of great E3 moments, but I think my favorite overall is when Nintendo just surprised us all and busted out the Twilight Princess reveal trailer. Like, that was such a great trailer. Got everybody excited. You could just hear in the crowd that people's lives were changing. I mean, people cried because the game was so beautiful to them. And, I mean, it did. It, in my opinion, that's still probably the best looking Zelda because everything's so detailed and textured, but that just topped off an already good E3 performance from Nintendo. And it was just such a surprise and everybody loved it so, so much. But before you leave, I'd like you to step inside one more world for Nintendo GameCube. My all-time favorite E3 moment is easily and without a doubt the Smash Brothers trailer from 2013 because one is Smash Brothers and it blew everyone away one because it's freaking Smash Brothers two it's coming to 3DS and then they do the good old reliable Nintendo fake out and new challenger approaching, and who is it? It is none other than the super fighting robot himself, Mega Man. Like, you see this shadowy figure right in front of the moon on this cliffside, and everyone, like, in this awesomely rendered 
Smash Brothers cutscene looks up and they're like, what the hell? And then his helmet just pops on him and plays this awesome, like, hard rock Mega Man 2 theme and just showcases all of his moves in just the best and most cinematic way you could imagine. And, I mean, honestly, we hadn't had a Mega Man game in a good bit because 10 came out however long before this and then we had heard nothing about Mega Man ever since then. We thought he was dead because Mighty Number no. 9 was in talks and no one heard anything about Mega Man. Then Nintendo comes out and they're just like, he's not dead. He's in this and he's ready to kick some ass. Like, I've never been so excited I couldn't physically hold it in until that trailer happened because I was just shaking and I I, had, I just ended up running laps around my house because I was so excited that Mega Man was coming to Smash Brothers. Hey, thanks for watching. Did you like the video? Why don't you hit that like and subscribe button? It really helps us grow the channel. And don't forget to ring that bell to join our notification squad. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I put the links in the description just to make it easier for you to get to. And we will catch you next time for the next video from the Bro Trio.